costs of doing research. All right, now let's talk energy. Actually, Energy Cabinet Secretary Davis Chichu uh, was put to task on the Senate on matter status of oil exploration in Turkana's Lokija Basin, seeking to find out why it has taken so long to explore the resource. Key questions were raised on the process of Kenya's oil exports made in 2019 and 2022. According to the CS, it will cost the country well over 481 billion shillings to develop the support infrastructure required to extract the export and export rather the oil. Henry Gidaga reports. For the people of Turkana, the discovery was expected to transform the county under a revenue sharing formula that would see the county receive 25% of the gains. But 11 years on, nothing much seems to have happened. It is these unmet expectations that prompted Trukana Senator James Lomenen to quiz Energy CS Davis Chirchir on the progress of the project. Of particular concern was the proceeds of Kenya's early oil pilot scheme, which saw Kenya export over 400 barrels of oil between 2018 and 2022. According to the CS, the exports offered no gains to the country, with the entire exercise cost a total of 7 billion shillings while the oil sold for 3.7 billion shillings. This in effect means that Kenya lost 3.6 billion shillings in the venture. The CS was however quick to ease concerns, indicating that the project was a test where appraisal and exploration oil were being exported. The initial uh, phase of the project can be expensive because it was the, the objective was to ensure that there is a seamless are ready uh, to market, uh, including facilities prepared, and uh, to an extent where the product could have been overstored, and uh, that had to be paid for. According to the CS, the government is cautious about sinking in infrastructure without the report as the revenue sharing agreement comprises of two key components, which are the cost oil, which will be recovered by the explorer from the exports of oil, and profit oil, which will be shared between Kenya and the explorer. If we were to produce at a certain rate and, and reach a plateau in two, three years, and you have built a pipeline that can take so much product to the market and yet the production has gone down. It, it is a, a phenomenon which the companies prospecting would like to use to earn their profit, take their profit, or what do you call it, their cost, recover their cost oil quickly and uh, and leave us almost sharing very little on profit oil. The CS further clarifying that the government is considering whether Kenya's oil will be exported as crude or refining it alongside whether Kenya will build its own pipeline. The early uh, investment to get the product to market from drilling commercial wells, building the tankage in Turkana, building the pipeline or a refinery will is in the, are in the cost of 3.5 billion US dollar and that will be taken to cost oil. So it will be recovered from our oil to cost. It will go to cost. Can you now see a situation where after recovering we export the product for three years and maybe uh, the product diminishes on what I call uh, uh, reaching the tippers and starts coming down and what do we do with a big investment of Three, four billion. To export oil, Kenya will need to consider its production capacity to ensure it does not incur the cost of storing oil at its various facilities. According to the CS, once the investments are made, Kenya should have the capacity to export crude or fuel every four to five days. This will require the country to fill oil tankers with a capacity of 80,000 metric tons to 125,000 metric tons of oil. Henry Gedaiga, KTN News. That is matters oil, 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 oil.